everyone. Today I'm presenting the work done in the position paper, Genetic Improvement and the Shackleton Framework for Optimizing LLVM Pass Sequences. In this paper, we present the novel use of genetic improvement to find problem-specific optimized LLVM pass sequences. We developed a pass level edit representation in the linear genetic programming framework Shackleton to evolve the modifications to be applied to the default optimization pass sequences. The proposed GI method provides an automatic way to find a problem-specific optimization sequence that improves upon a general solution without any expert domain knowledge. Our GI-involved solution has a mean of 3.7% runtime improvement compared to the standard O3 optimization level provided by LLVM engineers. First of all, the title of the paper has three parts, genetic improvement, the Shackleton framework, and the LLVM path sequences. I'm sure everyone here knows what genetic improvement is, so I'll start by introducing the Shackleton framework, then I'll talk about our target application, which is the LLVM compiler optimization passes, and finally I'll talk about the edit representations in the framework, which makes genetic improvement possible, and also the performance of the framework. In short, the Shackleton framework is a generalized linear genetic programming framework that allows the use of genetic programming on any user-defined object types and fitness metrics. To the left, we have a chromosome where the genetic information, which is encoded as genes, is arranged in an order sequence. And to the right, we have a simple illustration of the genetic algorithm with our own design. So we start with the initial population and then evaluate the fitness of the in individuals and perform the evolution process in which the top individuals are kept identical from the last generation and some offspring are generated through brute selection where, where we mate two parent inv individuals with crossover and or mutation. And then some offspring are created entirely randomly. After this new generation is produced, we evaluate the fitness of the individuals again until the termination criteria is reached. The Osaka list structure is the key to making the Shackleton framework so flexible. It basically wraps around any object and forms a unified representation that is easily fit into the genetic programming framework. With the Osaka list structure, initialization, selection, crossover, and mutation can all be applied to virtually any object types. In addition, the flexibility of the Shackleton framework is enhanced as the fitness function can be custom defined to anything. In this paper, the objects contained inside the Osaka list structure are edit structs, which I'll talk about in a bit, and the fitness function is just the clock time of the target user provided target program. And now I'll go ahead and talk about the optimization target of RGI framework, which is the LLVM compiler optimization passes. But before that, I'll briefly go over what LLVM is. When humans write computer programs in whatever language you prefer, Python, Java, C, et cetera, it'll need to be translated to machine code for the computer to understand and execute the desired behavior. And to convert the human readable code to the most efficient machine code, we need the help of the LLVM compiler. In LLVM, optimizations are implemented as passes that traverse some portion of the program to either collect information or transform the program. And different combinations of passes can achieve different effects. LLVM has a number of default optimization levels, which are sequences of LLVM passes constructed by human experts that can be helpful for most programs. Um, as you can see, O0 to O4 result in faster but more cryptic machine code and OS and OZ target code size. Because of their generalizability, they do not exploit each individual target program to achieve the maximum possible speed up. Any of these default levels can be chosen as the starting point in our um, genetic improvement version of the Shackleton. Um, for our later experiments, we take the default O3 sequence as a initialization point and evolve a list of modifications that we apply to the sequence so that um, a new sequence is generated um, and that will be the problem specific optimum. Here are the three genetic improvement edit rules that we apply to the past sequences. For each edit, we can either perform a deletion, insertion, or replacement. And each edit struct contains a position information and a pass to replace or insert with. Each edit is wrapped in the Osaka list structure as a gene on a chromosome. We use standard genetic programming to find the best series of edits we want to apply to the starting um, 
default LLVM path sequence. So the resulting passes would be a problem specific solution that achieves the fastest program runtime. To put things in perspective, here is a toy walkthrough of how the Shackleton framework performs the genetic improvement operation. In the sample chromosome of three edits long, we start at the LVM path sequences of size five and apply the changes. First, we have a replacement edit at position 0.8. This means that we're going to find the pass at the 80th percentile of the sequence, which in our case is ADCE highlight it in blue and replace it with the new pass and the edit struct, which is GBN. Um, in edit two, we have a deletion at position 0.21. So we find the pass, which is AA, and go ahead and delete it. Then we have an insertion edit at position 0.001. So we insert the new pass LICM at the first spot of the sequence. So after all the edits in the chromosome are applied to our starting sequence, we compile the source program with this new um, LVM pass sequ sequence and then run the user provided target program 40 times to get the average runtime. The target source program that we use is a script for the backtracker algorithm for the subset sum problem. In our preliminary experiments, we also tested Shackleton with a even simpler math script with just additions and multiplications and the more complex ant colony optimization algorithm for the traveling salesman problem. We found that the backtracker algorithm is a good balance between complexity and reasonable runtime. Um, then for uh, the for loops in the algorithm also provide room for compiler optimization. Um, so we used the optimal hyperparameter combinations found in a previous paper on the non-GI version of Shackleton and performed eight repeated runs of the experiment with um, the to be modified pass sequence being the default O3 sequence. We got an average runtime improvement of 3.7% with a standard deviation of 0.8768. In the compiler world, this is a very significant improvement as you can see from a few other publications and their res results as on the slide. Um, the fitness across generations for two sample runs are shown on the slide with horizontal lines as the baseline runtime. And um, we can see the runtime on the left shows a converging pattern that starts at a high runtime then decreases. Um, the run on the right initializes at a very good starting point and stays within the same range during the entire evolutionary process. Both scenarios are improvements over um, all of the possible OX um, standard baselines. Assume we want to look for a sequence of passes similar to the length of the default levels using brute force. Um, and since the default levels has, uh, have generally have a length of 80 passes long and there are 120 possible passes, the search space for LLVM optimization pass sequences um, using the brute force method would be in the order of 10 to the 167th. Um, therefore, finding the absolute optimum for a given source code is computationally impossible um, for currently available methods. However, the default um, O3 optimization level in LLVM is already carefully handcrafted and aims at reducing the runtime of target programs. Um, hence, it gives a really good starting point for uh, the search and significantly reduces the size of the search space. Um, the past level edit representation in the genetic improvement version of Shackleton effectively searches near this initial starting point and um, is able to find a local minimum tailored to the specific source program. Um, the use of GI significantly increases the efficiency of the search compared to a run from random solutions and is able to provide a better solution than O3. Some of the major takeaways from this project is that the GI feature in the Shackleton framework is able to provide an optimization sequence faster than the standard sequences and that it provides an efficient problem specific solution without any input of human expertise or domain knowledge. For example, um, it would take anyone like a few years to be an expert in LLVM, but um, this GI feature of Shackleton only takes um, a few hours to find a very good solution. So for future directions, since we kept the optimal hyperparameters from the non-GI version of Shackleton, it might be beneficial to perform additional hyperparameter tuning um, and also with more test cases and center benchmarks. And that's it for the presentation. Thank you so much for listening. And um, let me know if you have any questions.